Question for each of you guys. Josh, can you walk us through the, the pick six, what's going on in your mind on that play? And, and then Canarius, uh, the cigar, the victory cigar after the game, uh, oh, how, how nice was that thing it into? That was quick. What did you say? Um, <laughs> So the did, pick. Did I, did I spoil that without <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I just didn't hear like the rest of the question because I was messing around. Um, on the pick six, when they had four strong, and one on the back side, on the weak side, or whatever, I kept getting cut on that play earlier in the game. So on the sideline, I was talking with one of my coaches and stuff, and it was like, yeah, they keep cutting you on this, play with your hands and stuff. But I knew it was coming. I'm not seeing them uh, line up like that. And instead of just running and trying to rush, I just ran out with the bat. And the quarterback threw the ball, and I caught it, and I just ran. What a beautiful ball play. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's go to Ira from Fort Hey, guys, you, you obviously the game plan was to get a lot of pressure on their quarterback, and you guys did that. Um, what was the difference? It seems like. You guys took your game to a different level up front, even though you were missing some guys on the defensive line tonight. I would say it started in practice. We came back after Notre Dame, and we just made up in our mind that we're going to practice harder. And I feel like it carried over to the game. Um, me, I would say like we just want we had the mindset of just being aggressive, coming out being aggressive this game, and just you know trying to put pressure on the quarterback and you know just playing good up front. Kurt Weiler. Um, Y'all are two of the more longer tenured guys on the roster. I've been around through a lot. I mean, it, it, it's felt like there have been a lot of really tough losses where, I mean, you're right there, you can't make the play at the end, things like that. I guess finishing this one this time and doing it against a really good team, I mean, what's that mean to y'all? Um, it really means a lot. Um, you know, we just want to change the culture and just, you know, start finishing games. Uh, we got to do a better job in the second half of, you know, still coming out there with that fire. We, tonight we uh, started pretty fast, and I felt like that was great, and that's what, uh, you know, really set the momentum for uh, both sides of the ball. Uh, How good was it to, to get Dennis back? And had you guys been talking to him through this whole process? Obviously, he played a big role in the yeah, um, we had some guys go down and stuff, and then it's just re he really came out of nowhere. We've been talking to him and stuff. He's still been in the group chats and stuff like that. But we were getting a COVID test the other day, and I saw him getting the test, but I didn't put it together. Like, why is he getting a test? <laughs> so he came back, and I'm like, dang, I'm like, how, like, how you been and stuff? You know, he just had a baby and stuff like that and whatnot. But he came back, and he locked in. He learned his stuff. It was like it's like some free agency type stuff. It's <laughs> <laughs> crazy, but that's my boy, man. That's my boy. Uh, I feel like that's what brotherhood is all about. Of course, mm -hmm. um, Norvell preached us brotherhood. Uh, you know, every single day, every single time he has a chance to, and for him to just you know come back in when we need him and step in and, and step right in the rotation and get the job done. Uh, that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to Avalon. Yeah, works this time. Awesome. <laughs> hey, uh, two questions are kind of long. Uh, but for you, Janaris, I'm not good at math, and I know you guys can get 1% better, but you guys are like, I don't know, 75% better. I mean, is there something that, that clicked? And then for you, Josh, I mean, can you just remember what you felt like two years ago after Notre Dame, what you felt like last week, and then how you were able to push through and practice better this time around? Uh, me, I say the 1%. Like, we preach that every day. We're just trying to get better at something. Like, as long as we, you know, coming to work, to go to work and, you know, get better, we're, we're on the uprising. Um, Coach just preached that to us, and we just try to get better every day on something. Anything else for the players? All right, Ira. <laughs> you got a question? Yeah, I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask that one question for him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so two years ago, after Notre Dame, obviously they beat the hell out of us, you know, and that never feels good or not. But this time was different. I feel like we showed our potential, you know. And I just feel like when we went back to practice after that, it was like, okay, we need to clean up on some things, you know? And like, you know, nobody believed in us and that we could go out and beat North Carolina and stuff. But I feel like we just knew after that Notre Dame game, like, okay, we're kind of scratching the surface, you know, just a little bit. So 
let's just go harder, you know? We I went feel harder. Like there's already a chip on our shoulder from, you know, when we played North Carolina last time, when they came down and kicked you know, game winning field goal. And, you know, we had that in our mind, the guys that was here um, all week, and we preached that to the new guys, you know, what happened. We don't want to feel like that. And, you know, it's a little payback when they come back home and Dope Campbell. All right, let's go one more. Kevin from Tallahassee Nation. Hey guys, uh, Notre Dame had a lot of success running counterplays against you guys. Um, North Carolina does a lot of the same stuff. How did you guys feel like you prepared differently this week compared to last week for those kind of plays? Uh, we just had the game plan for it. We had a whole game plan for it, and then we just trusted in that and tried to execute it. I feel like we just needed to get better on some little technique issues that we had last week against um, Notre Dame that caused a couple big runs. Um, and, you know, this week our focus was, you know, technique and, you know, coming down, spilling uh, tight end and Wemmer coming back cross on, you know, counter and, you know, zone. And mm -hmm. tonight it actually showed that, you know, we was making the ball bounce a little bit.